I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. Our reading for Sunday, the sixth Sunday after Epiphany, February 13th, is from the sixth chapter of Luke, verses 17 through 26. He came down with them and stood on a level place with a great crowd of his disciples and a great multitude of people from all of Judea, Jerusalem, and the coast of Tyre and Sidon. They had come to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And those who were troubled with unclean spirits were cured. And all in the crowd were trying to touch him. The power came out from him and healed all of them. Then he looked up up at his disciples and said, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you will be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you and when they exclude you, revile you and defame you on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy. For surely your reward is great in heaven, for that is what their ancestors did to the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are full now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who are laughing now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for that is what their ancestors did to the false prophets. Word of the Lord. Climbing to the top of the social and economic ladder was hard work. The professional couple spent years gathering the wealth they expected would bring them fulfillment and joy. But having achieved the station in life to which they had long aspired, they were surprised to to sense emptiness. All this stuff, the woman said, It really doesn't mean anything. Jesus' sermon on the plain understands this countercultural phenomenon. And it goes further. It goes further. Those who are full now will be hungry, Jesus says. His mother Mary had declared of God, He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. God has indeed done these good things, so we pray for God to show up again with good news for the poor and liberation for those oppressed by unjust structures and authorities or by their own wealth. We pray for God to use us to proclaim and show love and liberation. In such work, true happiness is found. Our prayer. God, help us desire the true riches that we can obtain only through loving relationship with you and others. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.